Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to the properties of dynamic equilibrium, graphs related to forward and reverse reaction, and energy level diagrams. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 34, which statements about a reaction that has reached dynamic equilibrium are correct? Let's suppose we have a chemical reaction A and B react together to form C and D. Now when equilibrium is reached, still A and B will react together and move in the forward direction, while C and D will react and move in the backward direction. Let's move towards the options. Number 1. The rate of forward reaction equals the rate of reverse reaction. Now at dynamic equilibrium what happens that the rate of forward is equal to the rate of reverse reaction. The reaction does not stop. So option 1 is correct. 2. There is no overall change in the concentration of reactants and products. At equilibrium the reactants and product concentration become constant. As continuously product is changing into reactant and reactant is changing into product at the same rate. So option 2 is also correct. 3. There is no change in the measurable properties of the system. Now by measurable properties we means that the ratio of partial pressure if the reactants and products are gases. Or it could be the concentration of reactants and products. As we know that the ratio of partial pressure if these are gases or the concentration becomes constant, it is not changing in equilibrium. So therefore option 3 is also correct. All three options are correct. So the answer is A. Question 10. Two compounds X and Y react to produce compound Z. The reaction is reversible and equilibrium is established when x and y are mixed together in a closed system a dynamic equilibrium is gradually established which graph could represent the change in the rates of forward and reverse reactions over time dynamic equilibrium means that the equilibrium state is not static continuously reactants are converted into products and continuously product is converted back into reactants so in dynamic equilibrium state, the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of reverse reaction. In the key, they have given that this dotted line represents the rate of forward reaction while this dashed line represents the rate of reverse reaction. Now in the start, the amount of reactant was maximum while the amount of product was zero. So therefore, the rate of forward reaction was maximum while the rate of reverse reaction was zero. Now we can see that at equilibrium, the rate of forward reaction is still greater than the rate of reverse reaction. In B, we can see that the rate of forward reaction has decreased continuously to become zero. This is not possible because in equilibrium, the rate of forward is equal to the rate of reverse reaction. So B is also incorrect. In C, we can see that after a while, the rate of forward reaction is exactly equal to the rate of reverse reaction as both lines are on the same height. So C could be the correct option. In D, we can see that the rate of forward reaction has become zero and the rate of reverse reaction has become maximum. This is also incorrect. The answer is therefore C. Question 34. The reaction pathway diagram for a reversible reaction is shown. We have this diagram. On x-axis we have the progress of reaction and on y-axis we have energy in kilojoules per mole. Which statements are correct? 1. The enthalpy change for the backward reaction is negative 20 kJ per mole. As we can see, this is the product and this is the reactant. The 
Enthalpy change is the energy difference between products and reactants. As you can see, product has more energy as compared to the energy of reactant. So therefore, backward enthalpy is negative. And they have given the difference which is 20. So therefore, it would be minus 20 kilojoules per mole. So option 1 is correct. In option 2, the forward reaction is endothermic. Endothermic means that the energy is being absorbed. As we can see that the energy of reactant is lower than the energy of product. So it means that reactants have absorbed energy in this chemical reaction. So therefore the energy of product is higher. So therefore this is correct option. Third option, the activation energy for the forward reaction is plus 70 kilojoules per mole. Activation energy is the energy required by the reactants to convert into transition state. So as we know that 50 plus 20 will be the total activation energy. So 50 and 20 is equal to 70. As the arrow is upwards and reactants absorb energy in order to get into the transition state. So therefore it is plus 70 kilojoules per mole. So this is also correct. All three options are correct. So therefore answer is A. Question 34, which statements are correct when a reversible reaction is at equilibrium? Number 1, all species are at equal concentration. Now this is not always true because equilibrium can establish between unequal concentrations. For example, we can have 80% of the reactant present and only 20% of the product but still the reaction could be at equilibrium. So it is not necessary that concentration must be equal for all the species. Part 2, the concentration of all species remain constant. Now this is true because in reversible reaction what happens that the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of backward reaction. So whatever the concentration of reactant and product is present, it does not change. Part 3, the rate of forward reaction equals the rate of reverse reaction. This is also true for equilibrium state. As both 2 and 3 are correct, the answer is therefore C. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like, subscribe and share.